What's going on YouTube? This is Necris Friday bringing you a brand new video. Once again, welcome to our epic gaming adventure. And uh, as you can see here, this is just a quick clip from the uh, COD World War 2 beta. And uh, it was probably one of my first kill cams uh, for like the, the end like, game kill cam or whatever you call it now. Uh, heroic action, rather. Um, so I just thought I'd just pop it in really as far as those ones go. So, obviously, hope that you are having a fantastic day. Going to be jumping in, showing you a bit more of the uh, the beta itself. As you can see here, I've, this is where I've started to change up the, uh, the different things that I've got equipped on my uh, on my classes, etc. And you'll uh, you'll see as I go through it, etc. You know, as I said out, yesterday, as I Enemy progress in, yeah. through the game, well, through the through the videos over the week, you will actually see that the, the things change as far as it goes. I still highly recommend going for the infantry division and uh, unlocking that. The advanced movement whilst aiming down sight at level 4 will be very, uh, you know, very advantageous. Having a third um, attachment for your guns also, you know, super important, especially as it's a, a game that's all about the, like, the... Uh, ability to be able to win gunfights, so having extra attachments on your gun always helpful. Um, I believe that I actually have. What do I have on here? I believe I actually have a quick draw, a grip, and for my last one, I've got. Um, I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head now. Uh, it's really annoying because I wanted to be able to tell you about that one, and. It, steady aim. There we go. Steady aim, uh, or, or the the equivalent of steady aim. Uh, basically, it just allows you to have greater accuracy while hip firing. You'll notice that I don't. I'm not always aimed down sight, so I'll start firing whilst I'm from the hip. Obviously, being able to hit those first couple of shots helps. Um, I do find that playing a bit slower on this uh, on the new Call of Duty does help. It uh, it is a bit of a it is obviously a completely different game. slower and you need to be taking your time as far as these ones go it, it's not a case of rushing in like a crazy fool like I did just then and expecting to win the gunfight I mean that time I was lucky that guy couldn't hit me I couldn't hit him so I, I just got lucky the fact that I managed to hit him first as far as like close combat goes we need reinforcements. Um, other than that obviously yeah uh, the the beta itself you know well, obviously I've already covered a few things yesterday of like score streaks, etc., and the, the the possible changes that they've already been, that have already been mentioned. There has just been a live stream go up from PlayStation on Twitch, and it was to cover the changes coming for week two of the beta. Obviously, the beta is not actually on for a full week or anything like that. It's, it was only on for the weekend, so it was uh, actually out Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Uh, it ended on the evening of the Monday. And uh, Monday just gone, that is. And then, once again, it's out this weekend. Uh, it might be out Thursday again, possibly. You know, that if they decide to give the Xbox guys some extra time, uh, it makes sense. But obviously, the PlayStation guys also get to be able to use the uh, the extra time there to be able to play a bit more. So, I'll uh, definitely be jumping in and playing a bit more of the, uh, of the beta. Seeing, uh, seeing what we can do there. So, other than that... Um, as I said, the the guns themselves, the uh, as you can see, I'm, uh, I'm quite a fan of the PPSH. The grease gun is also a, a, a very good submachine gun. Um, the Type 100, in fact, I would say all of the uh, all of the submachine guns that are used are uh, are fantastic uh, submachine guns. To be honest, they all do really well. I think the Type 100 is probably not overpowered, but is is slightly more favourable. Uh, damage wise it just seems to be able to reload faster and to deal slightly either a tiny bit more damage or maybe it's just got a slightly fire fast rate I, I don't remember but it um, it definitely kills people that tiny bit quicker so that might be uh, might be an option for people that do like the, uh, the submachine guns assault rifles you're pretty much only picking up the STG um, the other ones are okay you know obviously you know they're, they're usable uh, the M1 Garand is uh, a two shot kill I, as you might have seen from the start, I've actually got a class that's built with the M1 Garand, simply because that was the assault rifle I was using. 
never used it Enemy inside any of the other previous Call of Duties, I don't think. Um, or if I did, it was only for like a, a video to be able to show you guys the actual, you know, the actual M1 Grand. Um, whereas on this one, I actually chose it to use it. I was like, uh, I, I'm never going to wear probably never going to use it any other time and I, I was actually really impressed by it it's, uh, as long as you're accurate obviously you should be okay you can uh, fire it pretty quick as well as I've got a good trigger finger um, care packages one thing I didn't do there obviously because I actually get paratroopers off on that one um, which is the highest score streak at the moment inside Call of Duty World War 2 but other than that um, the care packages themselves obviously when you see package being dropped in, you can shoot the, um, what would you call it, the parachute, and it drops down that bit quicker, just so that you've actually got it a tiny bit quicker, and uh, it, just, it just makes things a bit better. Uh, you can see the, the uh, paratroopers getting kills on the left hand side, uh, they normally get, it varies, but it, it's generally between one and three kills as far as, uh, as far as they go, unfortunately they're not, whilst they're such a high cut score streak, they're not as uh, they're not like amazing I'll be honest so uh, we can expect a buff for them or something to help them when they do land obviously um, just remember you can shoot the parachutes so they'll uh, they'll drop to their deaths Incoming and uh, die horribly so other than that um, I think uh, changes as far as uh, as far as what I've obviously I've fed, uh, fed my what I've said to uh, the what I've said to Call of Duty or Activision, etc., just to be, see what kind of uh, like feedback I can give. And I said that obviously the party screen, pretty much it's what everyone said as far as the party screen. I, I didn't realise, but apparently everyone was of the same opinion. This uh, that the party screen itself, you don't need to be scrolling through like four different tabs to be able to see who's in your party. It needs to be there on the side of the screen to make it that bit better. Um, so yeah, definitely that that change needs to be done. Uh, a connection bar would be uh, would be great just to see what kind of connection we're getting etc. Uh, especially with the people that we're playing with etc. Uh, some of the people there, you know, that you'll you'll saw probably on my last video, there was a guy that comes running into the room next to me and uh, Ponto Hawk, and he's uh, he's next to me, and then he's two steps ahead, and then he's right in front of me, but he's back against me. And I was like, what what is that? And I'm firing at him at that point. But he doesn't even realise it because he's got a flag. You know, that it's that kind of connection that you need to they need to get sorted. Apparently there is a um, a teaming uh, not teaming, a uh, a matchmaking algorithm in play in this Call of Duty that does allow you to be able to match with people that are more along your uh, your skill base. If you team up with other people, it takes theirs into consideration. So, you know, if you've both got a like a one point, say you both got a one point, well, say one person's got a one point one and one person's got a one point three KD, you're probably gonna match up against people that have got one point two, you know, around that kind of uh, around that kind of area. Uh, but if you've got someone that's got a zero point four KD and someone that's got a three point KD. That person with the 0.4 KD is really going to struggle because <laughs> um, it's going to average out to about 1.5 or something like that, and that that person's going to be in trouble. Uh, but the yeah, it does seem to work at least as far as as far as it goes. Um, Battle sister was getting like better matches uh, on the second day that she started playing. The first day she was really struggling with the matches, like the the matchups that she was getting. Um, she was getting people that were just like level 20 level you know uh, already and it was it was just ridiculous like trying to play it in fact that first that first day uh, obviously I played and I was I wasn't feel I wasn't like um, hitting my stride or anything like that but the people I was coming up against were just ridiculous I'll be honest um, so we'll see I guess but yeah other than that it's actually been a really good beta I would say I highly recommend it. I was telling my uh, my friend Velvet Blades today uh, that this this Call of Duty is you know it's, it's done really well. The base is actually uh, really well made. I'm looking forward to obviously being able to play it a bit more. Um, the 
as I said, there's going to be a bit more gameplay this uh, probably Friday, Saturday, Sunday. If not Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday again. Um, I'm guessing they did the Monday because it was bank holiday, but I guess we'll see. I'm not entirely sure what they got, what they plan to uh, for the Xbox side. I, I'll be honest, I didn't actually pay attention to the dates for the Xbox One. I've already reported it, but uh, I've already forgotten what uh, what dates it was because it wasn't for like obviously the first one was for the PlayStation 4, which is when I intended to play it. Uh, I totally forgot what we actually had access on the second week, yeah, so definitely looking forward to that now. Uh, we've so yeah, other than that, obviously we've come up to the end of the video here. Hope that you've uh, enjoyed the video. It's uh, it's been a bit of a bit, a bit of a different one, as you can see. I've, uh, as I said, been really enjoying the beta. It's a pretty good game, and uh, I'm probably going to uh, play in most of uh, most of my games to play this one to be honest, because I'm not going to have much time to play in the game. So it's, uh, it's a fantastic game, and uh, we'll see what it ends up like. So. Please like and subscribe for more. Remember to tick that notification bell for uh, every time we put up a video. You'll see one every day for throughout the week, Monday to Friday. And uh, as long as it's not a bank holiday, apparently, because I get confused then. <laughs> then, uh, yeah, that'll, uh, that'll literally be it. So, thanks for watching. Hope that you've had a fantastic day. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.